All right, Brittany, we've been talking about this. I know we're all excited about it. We just need to get through this weather first. <laughs> we do. And then we need clear skies yeah. for the eclipse. And there's about a 42% climatological chance that we will have either clear skies, mostly clear skies, or just a few clouds out there. So that would give us great viewing. So we're going to keep an eye on the forecast as we get closer. Fingers crossed. It's one of the days like Saturday when we have that full sunshine in the area. Today, though, we still have quite a bit of cloud cover around some spotty showers. And we are tracking another round of rain and storms. This is going to move in late Sunday night into early Monday morning. So it's not going to be a washout on Sunday by any means, but you are probably going to want that rain gear as you head back to work and school on Monday morning, not on Sunday, unless you're like me and then you're heading into work. But we still have this upper low. This was sitting out over the four corners. It brought us several rounds of rain last week. It is finally shifting off to the east, but we get that counterclockwise flow. It brings the moisture on the backside of the system. So we are still looking at a narrow band of light rain around Seymour, down towards Mineola. And then we're even getting a couple of light spotty showers right around the Metroplex. So this will kind of be what we continue to see over the next couple of hours. And that's what First Alert Futurecast is bringing in through the Metroplex. Very spotty, very light rain, a little steadier rain out into East Texas, closer to the center of that low. But as we get into the evening hours, our skies are going to clear from west to east, and then we're looking at a beautiful start to your Saturday morning. We'll have clear skies, we'll have the bright blue skies throughout most of the day. Here come the clouds moving back in Saturday night. They will be in place on Sunday morning. And we could have a spotty shower during the daytime on Sunday, but it's really late at night, closer to 10 to 11 p.m., that we're going to see this line of storms developing out to the west. And that's going to continue to track eastward. So we could have some of that rain, especially east of 35, as we start our day on Monday. But behind this front, we are looking at some cooler and drier air for your Tuesday. There's a level one marginal risk of some large hail and damaging winds when that line moves in late Sunday night into Monday. Day. So just a heads up for that. But if you want to head out to Clyde Warren Park, like these people here, it looks like they're setting up for an event out there. It's pretty nice. We're 60 degrees, a little bit breezy. We will have highs today climbing into the mid-60s this afternoon. Just a couple of sprinkles possible around the Metroplex. But that first alert seven-day forecast. Showing the cooler air for your Tuesday. We're back to partly cloudy skies and then some more rain chances by the middle of next week.